Do you like attaching energy cards every turn? Do you like drawing cards? Well, if you like either of these things or doing both multiple times on the same turn, then this deck might be for you. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon deck profile and review slash unboxing. This is the Shadow Rider Calyrax League Battle Deck. If you were looking for a solid competitive option to start playing the game and maybe you're taking it a little bit more seriously, this deck and the Ice Rider Calyrax VMAX deck are the two decks I absolutely have to recommend to you. With that said, if you missed out on the previous video where we did open up the Ice Rider deck, review it and show you guys all of the contents, you can check it out. I'll leave a link down below after this video. Now, the crazy thing about this deck is this card in particular used to sell for about 25 Canadian dollars, so 20 US dollars when like Chilling Rain came out. This card, Shadow Rider Calyrax VMAX, was easily one of the best cards in the game. And that's for the standard format back then these days it's not as powerful however if you want to step it up a little bit and maybe make it more competitive to play with the s tier decks out there i'll give you guys a couple of recommendations near the ending of the video but also if you are planning to play maybe expanded which is another kind of pokemon format where it has more cards in it like the sun and moon era instead of just standard where it's just sword and shield era then uh, shadow rider calyrax i think is the best deck in the expanded format. Let's switch over to the card cam, show you guys all the good stuff inside, and I also have one quick announcement once we switch over to the card cam. We are actually giving away this right here, the Pikachu V Union box. So if you wanna enter this giveaway, all you have to do is comment down below which version of Calyrax do you like more. And of course, hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel. But with that said, here is the Shadow Rider Calyrax V Max League Battle Deck. So this is a level three league battle deck, and if you guys don't know what that means it means that it is a very powerful starter deck that pokemon put together themselves and it has three copies of the v max and three copies of the v while in the past they released level two league battle decks like the rapid strike or single strike or food decks and they don't have as many copies of the v max or the v you have to go out and buy them separately if you want to upgrade the deck however if you want to get a really strong deck right out of the get-go this is a fantastic product there's also a shadow rider calyrax elite trainer box for chilling rain which also comes with these cool sleeves so i'm going to be sleeving this deck up with these sleeves right here and keeping it completely vanilla so i can have fair like 1v1 games against my girlfriend because in the ice rider deck i also bought the ice rider chilling rain elite trainer box uh, I have the Ice Rider deck in the Ice Rider sleeves right here. And they also plan to keep this deck completely the way Pokemon Company created it with the exact 60. Uh, that way it has for like a balanced, fair atmosphere when I'm playing. If you wanna just have like a really good uh, sort of balanced game, where you don't have to do too much deck building. You literally just drop the deck build. You buy these products and you put them in sleeves and you're good to go. All right, so let's take a look at the back of this box real quick to show you guys what is on here. Uh, you guys can feel free to pause and read if you would like to do so. And it also has a full deck list as well and shows you a little preview of everything that is included here. All the contents for these decks will be exactly the same. Let's bust this thing open and show you guys exactly what is inside. And I love Shadow Rider Calyrax. It's one of my like favorite Pokemon just because it's so cool, so badass looking. So included is a little Pokemon trading card game rule book right here. Great to learn how to play, but honestly, if you want to learn how to play, you guys can uh, download the Pokemon trading card game online and uh, Pokemon trading card game live. If you want to play online, it's free to play. And you also get codes when you buy these kind of products, which will give you the uh, the deck online. So this right here is the Shadow Rider Calyrex deck. You also get a cool deck box right here, which is really nice. You know, it's, 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 it's fantastic. However, the problem with this is the second you put sleeves on the cards, which you're going to want to do because it makes it way easier to shuffle your cards, randomize them better and protect your cards. The deck don't even fit inside of these little deck boxes anymore after just putting sleeves on the basic the very basic thing you do when you first buy cards by the way if you guys want to buy this deck online uh, i would like recommend you guys buy it from magic trading i'll leave them linked down below you guys can use code sneaker talk tcg to actually get five percent off your order check out magic trading and i also have a couple other places linked down below as well uh, before we take a look at the main star of the show shadow rider calyrex v max let's also take a look at the other goodies you get a little poison and 
burn marker right here. They also included a little pamphlet right here, which is pretty cool. Some nice little reading material to read in the car. Maybe if you buy the deck and you're uh, on the road or something like that, it gives you a full on like bio about the deck, everything you're gonna wanna know about it, what it's capable of, the combos. It also gives you some uh, recommendations on cards you might want to buy to upgrade the deck. So they recommend here Akrami V, Akrami V Max, Crobat V, and Ultra Ball. All fantastic cards. I absolutely understand why they would recommend them. Next up, you also get some dice right here. Let's just get some zoom in action. So they're all these like teal colored dice and aqua teal with white text. And then you get this one nice purple die, uh, which you'll often use for the, uh, the roll at the start of the game to decide who goes first with heads or tails. And now we can get to the star of the show, Shadow Rider Calyrax VMAX. So let's just pop this open and take a look at these three cards or six cards in total. So here is the star of the deck. We have Shadow Rider Calyrax V. And then for this video, we're not gonna get insanely, insanely in depth. However, we're gonna go over every single card, give you guys a quick bio of it, how it might be used in this deck, just in case you are new. And then now uh, if you guys ever wanna see me play online, we're gonna start streaming again on Twitch this week, twitch.tv slash sneaker talk ca will be streaming apex legends overwatch and of course pokemon trading card game online so here we go we got shadow rider calyrax v we have two attacks we have shadow mist for one psychic energy it does 10 damage and it says your opponent cannot play any special energies or stadium cards from their hand during the next turn that is an amazing amazing underrated attack against a lot of decks. I actually fought against a Blissey deck the other day and it only played special energies. So they literally, because I used my one attack shadow miss and they weren't able to uh, stop me from using it again and again and again, they couldn't attach an energy the entire game. Um, so it is a game winning card if your opponent only plays special energy potentially. Um, it also has another attack for three colorless energy, Astral Barrage. It says choose two of your opponent's Pokemon and put five damage counters onto each of them. So really good to finish up clean up some Pokemon you need to knock out but honestly the V is not really here to be the star of the show because the star of the show is I know I tried to Shadow Rider Calyrax V Max there's been so many other versions of this V Max it's crazy to think again that this card was like once once worth 25 30 Canadian dollars and now it's like this copy that you can pull from chilling rain this is the exact same copy it's not like a uh, promo exclusive to the starter deck this copy I think is worth like five or six dollars now and uh, if you want to get other copies there's like just a whole bunch I'll have them on screen right now the other versions of Shadow Rider Calyrax VMAX that you can buy that are more expensive or around the same price but the absolute cheapest would be the regular one right here from the Chilling Rain set. Shadow Rider Calyrax VMAX is a tank of a Pokemon. We got 320 hit points up there. Very, very strong. We have the ability Underworld Door. Once during your turn, you may attach a Psychic Energy card from your hand to one of your benched Pokemon. If you attach an energy to a Pokemon in this way, draw two cards so you get to attach a psychic energy for free and then draw two cards and imagine you have another one on the field you're doing this twice per turn there's no cap to how many times you can do this uh, it's just once per turn for each shadow rider calyrax v max so you could power up one completely on the bench and then maybe switch it into the active and then attack for a bunch of damage now its attack here is max geist this attack does 30 damage more for each psychic energy attached to all of your pokemon so it does 10 damage which is really really weak for three energy cost but you're doing 30 more for each psychic which means your attack for max guys could really hit high up there or some big one hit ko's or two hit ko's so the objective of this deck is to really power up all your pokemon in general because you only need three energies for this so once you get three you can start spreading out your energies across multiple pokemon on your bench and uh, it is just really really strong being able to attach extra energies per turn draw extra cards per turn really really strong and that's why it was one of the best cards in the game for a while and why it's still one of the best expanded decks right now so there is your look at the shadow rider calyrax v max line we got three and three we got galarian articuno this card is amazing for getting a really quick 120 damage attack in you play it from your hand onto your bench and you can attach up to two psychic energies from your hand to this pokemon so you get free energy acceleration with this card and then it has a really strong attack called psy laser it's a Discard all psychic energy from this Pokemon. This attack does 120 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. So really strong card. This is a exclusive to the starter deck as a non-holo. This is actually usually a holo foil card you pull from Chilling Rain. So this is what it looks like when it's not shiny. <laughs> so we got uh, two copies of it. Nice. We got two copies of Galarian Articuno. 
we also have a bunch of energy. So it looks like that Galarian Articuno slipped through the cracks. It was actually one of the last cards I was supposed to show you. But let's get through the rest here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Wow. 15 Psychic Energies. That's a lot of energies for a deck. Most decks do not run 15, but because of the way this deck operates, where you can attach from your hand for free with the ability of Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX, 15 does make sense because it is an attach plus draw two cards when you use the Shadow Rider effect. Two copies of Air Balloon. It basically makes your Pokemon have free retreat cost. It takes away two retreat costs from your Pokemon. And I think all the Pokemon in this deck use two or less retreat costs. So you're going to need to uh, remember that the VMAX ability Underworld Door only works for bench Pokemon. So you can have whatever you want on the bench powered up and then you're going to need to retreat into it to attack. So Air Balloon is going to be your option for switching that card out. Non-hollow version of my Marnie. We got four copies of Marnie right here, one of the best cards of the game. It resets your hand with five new cards and it disrupts your opponents with four new cards. You just have to put your hand to the bottom of the deck and shuffle it. So a uh, really, really strong card. They have four, which is great. Four copies of a non hall of Professor's Research. This says discard your hand, draw seven cards. Professor's Research is a staple card in the game, so it, it makes sense that they have four copies of this just so you can keep drawing more cards and hopefully draw into more energies or maybe the VMAX that you might need to have in your hand to evolve into. So four copies of that for consistency. We got Boss's Orders at three copies. Great for selecting the target you're going to attack next. Everyone knows Boss's Orders. Ooh, Training Court is really, really good because you want to make sure you're using the Underworld Door ability every turn. So for some reason, if you do have a Psychic Energy in your discard pile, Training Court says, once during each player's turn, that player may put a basic energy card from your discard pile into your hands. So really good. You get to basically just do that for free and use the ability for free from your VMAX. So just do keep in mind your opponent does get to use the training court as well. And you're going to need to run three copies, maybe four potentially, uh, because cards like Path to the Peak exist and they completely shut this deck down um, because you can't use the abilities of your VMAX with Path to the Peak open. So the Counter Stadium is an important, important card in this deck. We got three copies of training court. Next up, we have Fog Crystal, one of the best kind of cards in the game. It has has the consistency to get you exactly what you need whenever you want it and it's only for psychic Pokemon. Fall Crystal says search your deck for a psychic energy card or a basic Pokemon, reveal it and put it into your hand and then shuffle your deck. So if you need one specific basic psychic Pokemon, you can grab it with this card and it is an energy search as well. So you effectively have 19 energies in your deck with 15 energy basic cards or basic energies and then four more fog crystals which are all basically psychic energies too two copies of great ball so this card you could easily switch out with a card like ultra ball instead that's a big recommendation i would make because this is more up to luck look at the top seven cards of your deck you may reveal a pokemon you find there and add it to your hand that sounds okay but when ultra ball is discard two cards in your hand and you can combine that with like a psychic energy and maybe a training core so you're only discarding really one because your training core is going to bring back your energy you can get any pokemon Pokemon you want in your deck into your hand so that we can get a V or a V max whatever the situation caused for us a great ball it's cool because you don't have to discard anything but you're leaving it up to luck with hoping that you get a Pokemon on the top seven and it's not even a guarantee it's gonna be the one you really want so swap out great ball for ultra ball easily to do that right now great ball one of the best cards in the game a lot of decks run four copies it says search your deck for a basic Pokemon reveal it and put it into your hand and then shuffle your deck you can only play this card if you discard one other card from your hand so again if you have training court you just discard the energy use your quick ball and then use training court to get back the energy and then you can attach that same energy so you get a free basic pokemon we got ordinary rod it says you can choose one or both you shuffle up the two pokemon from your discard pile back into your deck so maybe you lost a v max or a v early on or something important they can go back in your deck and shuffle up the two basic energy cards from your discard pile so maybe you need you know more energy cards in your deck then you can do that as well next up we got evolution incense pretty self-explanatory card we got four copies right here so you can really hunt down that v max and evolve into it search your deck for any evolution pokemon reveal it and put it into your hand for free no extra cost there next up we got switch we got two copies of switch really strong card most decks run a couple you need to have these in your deck or else you're retreating for uh, your retreat cost every time so like two copies of switch you need this especially because you're again going to be powering up the pokemon on your bench with the VMAX. It has to be on your bench, not your active. So you're going to need a way to switch into that newly charged up Pokemon. Next up, we also got Cresselia as well. Uh, Cresselia says you can search your deck for an energy card and attach it to one of your Pokemon. If you go second, you can do three. So 
if, uh, if you're going, like, if your first turn is the second turn of the game, uh, you get to fully charge up any Pokemon on your bench or uh, the same Cresselia right here. So this is the card. You ideally want to start with this card. Like, if you can have any starting Pokemon on your active, this is the one you choose. That way you can charge up your other Pokemon. And uh, yeah, it also has another attack called Photon Laser, where if you have at least five energies in play, this attack does 90 more damage. So you can do 120 damage uh, with this one basic Pokemon, really strong. And then last but not least here, we also got the Pump Kaboo, uh, which is a really strong card to get rid of Path to the Peak. So you can use your Fog Crystal or your Quick Ball or Great Ball to search for this Pump Kaboo. And uh, Pump Kaboo will allow you to discard the Stadium in play, which means if there is Path to the Peak active, that it's no longer Longer going to be a threat to your Pokemon anymore. All right, so some very quick recommendations and upgrades you can make to, the, to this deck that I would recommend would be including potentially uh, a Zacian V from Celebrations. That card is very strong. The ability is great. Uh, you can charge one psychic energy to any of your Pokemon and uh, it ends your turn after that. So it's really good. It's a really good way to end your turn, especially if you weren't planning to attack. And other good cards that synergize really well with Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX is Mewtwo V V-Star uh, from the new Pokemon Go set because Mewtwo V-Star's ability or his attack is uh, for two energy cost. It says you can discard up to three energy from your Pokemon in any way you want and the attack will do 90 for each. So again, you keep your Mewtwo in your active and then you have Shadow Rider on the bench. You're just using Shadow Rider to charge up your Pokemon and then Mewtwo to spit out the damage and then you just keep doing your thing. Those are two recommendations I highly recommend you guys add it to this deck. Now, as much as I love Shadow Rider, Calyrex, VMAX, I will have to admit the Ice Rider deck is slightly better in my opinion and I'm sure a lot of other more uh, competitive players would agree Ice Rider just has a better consistency and is easier to set up compared to Shadow Rider because Shadow Rider you really have to have a lot of energies to start doing a big a big amount of damage uh, so yeah if you have to pick between the two between Ice Rider and Shadow Rider absolutely go with Ice Rider if you're trying to be a more competitive player but honestly when a, in a, like a 1v1 with the base decks of Ice Rider and Shadow Rider I think it would be a pretty even fight so that's why I bought these decks so I can do some more more intensive games with my girlfriend rather than the level 1 starter decks out there this has more strategy involved so it's more fun and it's more engaging of a game anyways comment down below to enter the pikachu v union box collection giveaway for the month of august just comment down below which one you like more do you like shadow rider more or do you like ice rider if you're watching this video you're probably gonna like shadow rider more but just let me know be honest in the comments and again if you want to see how this deck stacks up against the ice rider league battle deck i'll have that on screen you guys can click that right here to check that out and if you want to see what a competitive pokemon regional tournament vlog is like click right here to watch my Vancouver tournament vlog and uh, yeah I'll be streaming again on twitch twitch.tv slash sneaker talk ca to see me play games online and I'll catch you guys in the next video peace out